Hey, what's up, y'all? It is your girl, Britt Johnson. Welcome to another episode of First in 10. Today, I have Tony Pollard. Welcome to the show. Thanks. I've heard you've seen it a few times. Yeah, seen, I've seen I've seen a little you, bit of it. You got your vocal cords ready in case I make you sing? Uh, I wasn't prepared for that, but <laughs> I, mean, I know to be on the toes. I don't think I make you sing in this one, so I think you'll be okay. All right, uh, let's get started. So in high school, you were two-way player, two-way starter. You played really every position on the field, but yeah. mostly you were cornerback and you played receiver as well. Then you get to college, you become this return specialist. Then you get to the league and you're part of one of the best running back duos in the league. Let me ask you this, what position was the most challenging for you? Um, to pick up and... Yeah, just like in um, your career. I would say probably receiver. Why is that? Um, I played running back all my life. I feel like running back is, is pretty natural, you know, mm -hmm. just run. You get the ball <laughs> and just run. You don't have to catch it, it's a handoff. So I've been doing that, so that comes natural to me. And when I played defense, defense was fun just because I feel like it's, it's more freedom right. than on offense. You know, offense, you have a, a certain spot you got to line up in, you know, a certain formation. Defense, you can be over here, but know you got to end up over there, but you got the freedom to roam where you yes. want to, so. And you get to hit people. Exactly. Like, who doesn't like that? <laughs> but if I had to pick, I'd say receiver. Receiver? Yeah. So, um, my next question, you, you know, are a return specialist. You got really good at it when you were in college and you've continued to be good in that position. Tell me what is going through your head when you have 10 guys coming at you. Like, what is that experience like? Walk me through that. Um, I mean, I pretty, I really don't think about it like that because we practice it so much. And, you know, it's something I've been doing since I've been playing football, you know, since high school, college, you know, doing kick returns. So. You know, it's pretty second nature, you know, just follow the scheme, you know, trust the guys up front. That's what a lot of it, you know, you yeah. have to trust your blockers up front, trust that they're going to be where they have to be, uh, block their man when they're supposed to, and then just, just trust it and hit it. You got, I mean, you got to be a little like, like all these guys are coming at you, especially in the NFL. Like what was, was there a difference returning in college and then now coming to the league and guys are way bigger than the guys that you went against in college? Yeah, it's definitely different from college. Um, I would say the biggest difference is probably the rule change, because you know, college, you know, you could start, you could line up behind the kicker and get a running start, and then you could be running when the kicker is kicking. So um, that's a big difference, you know, having the, the kickoff team being able to build up speed and, you know, get their momentum yeah. going. So having those guys go from a standstill and then I think they scooted the front line blocks up a little closer so it wouldn't be as big of a comp, uh, you know, a compact. Yeah. So. Well, to me, I feel like that is the bravest position in the league is being a return a return guy. That seems very difficult to me. Yeah, you, you definitely got to be a little crazy <laughs> for it. A little crazy. I, I didn't want to say it. You said it though. You said it. Okay. Uh, so your family actually owns a barbecue place in Memphis. You have been in Texas for a little bit. I am vegetarian, so I don't eat any meat at all. So mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to explain to me who does barbecue better and what they do better. Like, are the ribs better in Memphis? Is mm. the barbecue chicken better in Texas? Let me know. Uh, I mean, I'm Memphis all the way, born and raised. So I'm a, any type of up or if thing about it, I'm gonna have to go with Memphis. But uh, I definitely like the barbecue out here as well. I think it's a spot, I forgot the name of it that I went to recently. I'm not sure if it was Hutchinson, something uh -huh. like that. It may have been it, but yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, so I I think it was your rookie or second year, they did a running back thing. You guys went and had barbecue. You mm -hmm. said you did not really know how to barbecue. Have you learned since then how to barbecue? Uh, I learned a little bit more than yeah. what I knew then, but <laughs> I wouldn't say I know enough to be back no, there and be working. you don't host the barbecues? Nah, I know no. what I do. I'm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so if you you were not a football player and you had to pick a career, what career do you think you would do and why do you think you would be good at that? Hmm. I feel like if I wasn't playing football, I honestly, I feel like it doesn't matter what I do. I feel like whatever I do, I'm always, as long as I, somebody shows me how to do it, mm -hmm. what to do. Except uh, for barbecue, right? Are you gonna I mean, go, would you go back home and work? If I went to work and actually was like training, like trying to be at work, I'm pretty sure I would be one of the okay. best. So, so I feel like anything that I do, spot. I'm a little bit above average. So okay. it really doesn't matter. Whatever I put my mind to and, and want to do, I feel like I can do it. All right, 
I like it. So maybe you'll take over the barbecue spot for your family one day. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I talked a little bit earlier about, you know, being a return specialist, being literally a little crazy to do that. So you're clearly not afraid of that, but there has to be something that you are afraid of. What are you most afraid of? Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't do roller coasters at all. No? At all. No, no Six Flags? Not at all. I mean, I'll do a water slide, like a water <laughs> park. I can do water rides. Yeah. But when it comes to like roller coasters going upside yeah. down and. That's funny. I'm the same. I do not do upside down. I feel down like my coasters. thing is I'm always thinking of the worst case scenario. So right? Like what if I'm it like, just what unlatches? If, exactly. Like what if the whole like coaster just came off the rails and just dropped? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. But what about Ferris wheels? Would you do stuff like that? Or is it just rides uh, I would do a Ferris wheel. That's, okay. that's not that bad. Okay. Uh, but what is your ideal off day look like? My ideal off day, um, I say wake up. I had to wake up early, feed my dog, let him out. Then- What kind of dog you got? I got a pit and a Rottweiler. Oh, names? Uh, my pit is named Rocco. My Rottweiler is Scar. Nice. Okay, so we're feeding the dogs, and then what else? Then probably chill, watch TV for a little bit. May come up here, get in the ice tub, cold tub. Then may shoot. I may shoot the Dunno House, one of my teammates. Then go back home. After that, I'm chilling. Just relaxing. That's it. All right. So if you could go on vacation with three of your teammates, who would you take with you, and where y'all going? So I feel like all these accent. questions got me on the spot. Of course. Uh, <laughs> well, hold on. If I could do what? If you could go on vacation with three of your teammates, uh -huh. who would you take with you? And then what place do you think you guys would go to? Like, what what's on your bucket list? Where you want to go? Three of my teammates. Um, I may take, I know I'm taking Dono. Me and him came in together. Okay. In class. I may take, um, let me see. I may take Rico with me. Okay. And then... Where would we go? I say, let's go to the Dominican Republic. You know what? Micah said the same thing, so maybe you should take Micah with you too. Maybe. Micah Make wants to go there as well. <laughs> all right, uh, if you had to delete all the apps on your phone besides three, which ones are you keeping? What are your favorite apps? Mm. So, Text, like text, that don't count, right? No, that'll okay. stay on your phone. Text, so apps, phone thinking, call will stay, but like to, any social media apps you really like? I or? would say Instagram. Okay. I gotta keep Instagram. Um, I'm gonna keep Twitter. Okay. And I'm not really NFL on. Network, NBA, like do you, do you check those apps? Nah. No? I try to stay away from, <laughs> from all of that. Uh, if I had to pick one, I guess Snapchat. So but all I'm the not really media even apps. on Snapchat. Yeah. Like I don't that, think. Do people still do Snapchat? Kinda, not really. Not really, not really. What is the best Christmas gift because the holiday season's coming that you have ever received? It could be when you were five years old. What was the best gift you ever received? Best Christmas gift. Uh, I'm not sure how old I was. I think I remember getting like a, a little motorcycle, like a little. Little, like one that you can ride on? A motorcycle that, yeah, when I was a kid that I could ride on. It went up to like 40, no. 30, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> There's no way, it was, really? I'm telling you, it was it was real deal. You had to have been kind of older then, Yeah, right? I was a little older, but I was still... I was, Did you ever crash that thing? Nah. No? I barely got to ride it, because <laughs> either I was on punishment, grades weren't good or something. That was the first thing taken away from you. Man. Like, okay, can't ride your little motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last question. What is on your pre-game playlist? Pre-game playlist. Um, I gotta have some young boy on there just to get me going. Who else? Pretty much all of my Memphis rappers. Who? Okay, who's your favorite Memphis rapper? I don't know. I like all of them. All of them? If you're from Memphis and you're a rapper. So if I was from Memphis and I rapped, mm -hmm. you would put me on your playlist. If you were decent, yeah. If I heard okay. it and I, I liked it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a good rapper. So not, we'll it's not there. just anybody. I'm not gonna just rap, going to rap, you know. I usually rap, but I'll, I'll save that for later. All right. Mm, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us on First and Ten. Make sure you guys go and check out all the other episodes we've had of this show. I'm Britt Johnson, Tony Pollard. See y'all next time.